Hey everyone! Thanks again for tuning into another tutorial. One of my Facebook followers recently asked me if I can do a tutorial on how to get a proper bow hold. One of the main methods that I use to teach my students a proper bow hold is page 7 of the Essential Elements for Strings Violin Book 1. I really like this method because it lays out five simple steps on how to build your bow hold and it suggests to start with a pencil just so that it's a little bit easier on your hand and you don't have to worry about the heavier weight of the bow. Here are the five steps. Step one, hold your pencil in your left hand at eye level. Step two, hang your right hand fingers over the top of the pencil as if it's a little branch that you're resting the fingers over. Do not just rest your fingers on the top of the pencil, but rather hang them over. And again, most of the weight of your right hand is being held by your left hand. Your thumb is just hanging out for now. In step three, place your fourth finger or your pinky on the top of the pencil while keeping your other fingers in the same position. So all you're doing is you're placing it right on top in a nice curved shape. Remember to keep it curved. Try not to let it straighten out. Step four is where your thumb comes in. Touch the tip of your right thumb to the pencil just opposite the second finger. So it's going to look a bit like that. The thumb should form a little oval with the rest of your fingers. Make sure that it has an oval or circular shape. Try not to let the thumb collapse in like this. So now that you have the thumb on there, check in with the rest of your fingers and make sure that they're still hanging over the side of the pencil. The only one that's on top is the pinky. And the last step, all you have to do is lean your hand over so that the first finger rests on top of the pencil right in between the first and second joints. You want to keep them nice and relaxed and when you're ready you can release the pencil with your left hand. The key is to remember that your fingers should all be curved. They shouldn't be straight like this and they should be as relaxed as possible. One more thing is that these two fingers should be pretty close together and there should be just a little bit of space between the first and second fingers and also between the pinky and the third finger. So you should practice shaping your hand on a pencil until it starts feeling more natural to you. Once it feels natural, you can transfer to your bow. Try doing the steps on your bow as follows. Step one, hang your fingers over the frog. Step two, place your pinky on top of the bow keeping it nice and curved. Step three, place your thumb opposite your second finger and make sure there's a little oval shape between the rest of your fingers. One way that I check for proper thumb placement is that it should be resting in between this part of the frog and this part of the winding. And make sure to never stick your thumb through the frog. It should always be placed on the side of the stick in that little space right there. Your second and third fingers should be just opposite the thumb, hanging over the frog and onto the, the black part of the frog. Then lean your fingers over in the fourth step so that the first finger rests on top of the bow in between the first and second joints. Check for the spacing and there you have your bow hold. I know this will feel pretty unnatural at first, but with practice and by being aware of each step, you're on your way to getting a proper and natural feeling bow hold. So there you have it. Learning how to get a proper bow hold is probably one of the most difficult parts of starting to learn the violin or any string instrument. But hopefully these steps that I shared with you will help you to practice and make it a little bit simpler for you. I appreciate any feedback that you guys have, so please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time!